Welcome to Rasa Yog's YouTube channel. Today you'll learn how to make chai. Chai, the Hindi word for tea, is a delicious, healthy, hot tea drink, ubiquitous all over India and other South Asian countries and in the Middle East. Masala chai is a blended beverage of mixed spices, milk, and honey or sugar. For four cups of chai, you'll need fresh ginger, cinnamon sticks, cloves, and cardamom pods. The original chai recipe was medicinal in nature. Today we'll show you the recipe that's still made in the Punjab region of India. Only instead of water buffalo milk, we'll use regular cow's milk or any dairy-free alternative you choose. You'll also need a grater, a pot that holds five cups of water, and a strainer to strain the tea and loose spices. You can use any kind of ordinary tea, orange pico tea. It's black tea and the leaves are very small so it can brew quickly, unlike Darjeeling. For sweetener add honey, sugar, or agave nectar or nothing at all if that's what you prefer. First grate the ginger. You can use a knife and scrape the ginger. You just need about a one inch piece of fresh ginger and take out the outer covering. When you scrape with a knife, you'll need to be careful. Peeling with a peeler is okay, but it takes off a little more ginger than you need to take off. Once the ginger is peeled, take your grater on a plate to collect the shavings. The grater has sharp edges, so be careful of your fingers. You'll create a nice moist pile of fresh grated ginger to be used in the tea. So once you have your five cups of water in the pot, place the whole spices in them. There are two cardamom pods, three cloves, and small sticks of cinnamon. Then place a tablespoon or more of ginger. The more you add, the more spicy it is. Although not commonly done, sometimes we add a pinch of turmeric. Western medicine is showing more and more the great benefits of turmeric that those in the East have known for a long time. It's fighting properties against disease and Alzheimer's disease. So now all the spices are in with the water, the heat is on high, and it's beginning to boil. Once the water boils, add your sugar. You can add a teaspoon per cup or as you like. To five cups of water, I'm adding three teaspoons of sugar. Stir it up and then add three teaspoons of tea. You can add a little more if you like it darker. For a decaffeinated version, you can use decaffeinated black tea, although it won't become as dark a color. The tea and spices can be purchased at a local Indian grocery store, and many modern grocery stores have all of these spices available, although you're most likely to find loose tea at an Indian grocery store. And let it brew for a minute or two. Because the leaf of the tea is very small, it will brew more quickly than a more gourmet kind of tea leaf. The tea is brewed when the water becomes a light brown color. Now you're ready to add the milk or cream or soy, whatever you choose. In this case, we're using non-fat evaporated skim milk. Evaporated milk creates a more creamy texture to the tea, which is desirable. Being skim means you don't add any fat to it. The amount you would add depends on the color. It's more of a feel. See how it's turning a lighter brown? I'll just add a little bit more milk to create a more creamy, light-colored chai. Now the chai is ready. So, 
You'll need to transfer it to a teapot. That's where the strainer comes in. Turn off the fire and take out your teapot. Place the strainer on top. Lift the pot using oven mitts or something to protect your hands. Slowly pour the tea through the strainer into the pot and watch that the pot doesn't get overfilled. You'll see the spices, the ginger, and the tea collecting in the strainer, so that's the part you don't want to consume. Discard the contents of the strainer, close the tea lid, and take out a cup or cups. Pour the tea into the cup slowly. Enjoy the aroma and the warmth of this healthy drink. The tea is hot, so you'll need to be an expert sipper to take it right away. It's just great is. Ah, delicious.